Today, we're on Reddit again. The question is, when driving at night, what is the scariest, most unexplainable thing you've ever seen? And we've got the top story here. Hey everyone, welcome back to the JNL Chronicles. So, night driving, scary, unexplained things. I'm sure there's tons of good ones on there. Yeah, there probably are. I'll, I'm just going to read the top, the top post. All right, let's hear them. Okay. I know we've seen plenty of crazy things when driving at night. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I don't remember. Just the other night. Just the other night? Yeah, getting off the freeway. Oh, God. Man, that was scary. Oh, man, that was scary. More about that at the end of the video. Okay. Uh, this is from Reddit user Arcus74. And this person says, Scariest only because it nearly killed me. Nearly killing you seems like it could be kind of scary. Yeah. It, yeah, it does. Okay. Driving back from a late height school night football game that I was covering, I was going through a very remote section of highway in farmland. I was a little zoned out, but the road was straight and wide for a while. I was going along at a good clip when I was vaguely aware that there was suddenly something in my way, but it was almost just a sense of it, not anything I could really see. Something just didn't look right, and I could tell hitting the brakes was not going to help. So I swerved into the opposing lane and passed something large that had been blocking my lane. I still didn't know what it was, but it was large. Mm. I got turned around and went back slowly to see what the hell I had barely missed. When I got close enough to see better in my headlights, there they were. Two very large, completely black cows. That... That sounds very dangerous. Yeah, poor things. Because I've Getting heard, lost I've heard that, you know, people that hit moose, it kills the driver because mm. the it it just smashes. That's a sad situation and a moose is so much larger than what you would actually think. A moose is taller than the van, so that's pretty big. And cows are pretty heavy, so that probably would have killed him if he hit it. Yeah. And the cow. Yeah. The person goes on and says, They were big enough that my hatchback would have been totally crushed if I'd hit them. And it could have easily been a fatal accident for me and the, for the cows. I called the local police and they sent a car out while I waited to make sure no one else hit them. Aww. Oh, that's, that's nice of him. That's so sweet. Yeah. I like this Reddit user. Um, even though there was no one else on the road and the cows had wandered off down the road a ways and I hadn't seen any cars again for quite a while, uh, when they got there, the cops knew who the car, cows sorry, belonged to and called the guy up all pissed off because this apparently happened more frequently than they liked. Wait, 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 wait. So this guy lets his black cows out frequently at night. Maybe they got out of the fenced in grazing area? Make a better fence. You're letting your cows out. You're endangering other people. You're endangering your cows. Your cows. Your babies, you gotta take care of them. That is a uh, very, uh, uh, very bad farmer. Or maybe somebody busted down a fence, or maybe somebody swerved off the road and broke well, his fence. Any good farmer checks his fence every every day or so. True. You got to make sure your fence is up and, and you strong. You got to make sure your animals are okay in, in your yard or your 
uh, pasture in this case. Yeah. Um, but good on uh, good on the Reddit user for staying with the cows. He says at the bottom, damn cows nearly killed me. <laughs> that poor guy. I yeah. feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for the cows. What if they get out again? This happens frequently. Yeah. Uh, You're right. This is a bad farmer. Yeah. Frequently. Yeah, frequently. And right. why haven't the cops, like, uh, gave him a citation for uh, uh, unsafe farming or something? <laughs> I don't know what the code <laughs> would be, farming. but something. <laughs> unsafe farming. But back to the story that we had the other day. We were driving... And we were getting getting off the freeway at night, and right in the middle of the road is a naked guy. And it's not a good area. No, it was right off right off the freeway. Cars are coming down that off ramp pretty fast, and he's standing there just. It at first it looked like he was dancing. He was in the middle of the road. Yeah. And he was. Yeah, hands up, and he was like twirling around. And I noticed on his stomach he had, like, probes on him like he had just gotten out of the hospital. Yeah. And so we pull over. So we scary. call 911. Everyone else is just honking at him, driving around driving him. Driving like, around him. Like, as if he understands what the heck's going on. And it took... So it, we stopped. We, 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 we just went from the off-ramp straight across to the driveway across from it. And called nine one one, and sat there. Well, because there was no crosswalk, and there was all these cars, we couldn't get to him. We couldn't get across. Uh, it was so the traffic was so busy. Yeah, and and while so we're sitting scary. there, a cop drives by and does nothing. One of them, yeah. Yeah, just drives by him. It, which was. Absurd that a cop would just see that and be like, eh, he not started my screaming. Problem. He was like, oh, <laughs> I, several times we thought he was gonna get hit, and yeah. we were screaming in the car, Oh, F, oh, no. Oh. Luckily, like, we were so terrified. It, it took forever, but luckily, finally, the police came and you know, got him out of the road. But yeah. Thankfully, Jeez. thankfully, thankfully, that, that was a crazy, scary story. We couldn't leave him there. By himself, it just wouldn't be right. We needed to know he was safe, uh, but we just couldn't get across all those lanes of traffic to where he was. Yeah, because he started to go up the on ramp and then he laid down flat. Yeah. He laid down flat, and all the cars ripping around that curve could. I mean, but thankfully he he got up again. And it was just so scary. I'm, I'm, I hope the police got this individual some help, so much needed help. And yeah, hopefully he's he's getting the help he needed because he obviously yeah. needed some help. Yeah. And that's all we have. That's for our today. strange experience that happened at night. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't remember about it until you reminded <laughs> me. It was terrifying though. Give this video a like if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. Or, you know, let your cows out if you disliked it. No. Never let your cows out <laughs> the pasture. And, and uh, thank you to our subscribers. We appreciate each and every one of you. And write down in the comments thank you so below much. Uh, what your uh, scary nighttime driving stories are. Yes, I'm sure you guys have a bunch. Yeah. And have a great day. Yep. Bye, everyone. And lock, your, lock up your cows. Yeah. Poor cows. I'm so glad you waited for them. That's so sweet. I like that Reddit user.